have you seen these insane websites like Instagram, Twitter and Amazon and you feel like there is no chance that you will be able to build something like this ever? Well, let me tell you 7 steps that you can use to build any website so you can achieve the dream of working remote while sipping a cold drink on a Hawaii beach. Step 1. Plan the website structure. Start by identifying the different sections and pages your website will have. Usually there is a home page, about page and contact page. All the rest will depend on the purpose of your website. You might have a products page, a pricing page, etc. Let's do an example. A website for a window cleaning company. To make it simple, the website will have one page, but with multiple sections we can navigate to. This is usually how the modern websites are built. In this case, we would like to have a title section, then we will have have testimonial slash view section, maybe a pricing section and the end, a contact section. Additionally, we have to think about the overall layout and navigation. Think of how users will be able to move between pages and how you want to display the main content. In the example, we will go a very simple route. We will have a navigation bar at the top and the main content with all the sections will be displayed at the center and visitors using the navigation bar will be able to jump to the corresponding section. This planning phase sets the foundation for a well-structured site. Step 2. Choose your tools wisely. Depending on your preference and the project requirements, you can use HTML, CSS and JavaScript as the core language. Additionally, consider utilizing frameworks and libraries like Bootstrap or React to speed up the development. In reality, every single website can be built with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. These fancy tools like React and Bootstrap are only used to save time for the developers and makes it easier to add some more advanced functionalities. In the example, we will stick with the old HTML, CSS and JavaScript because the website does not require any advanced features. I even think we will not even have to use JavaScript. Step 3. Write the HTML. HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language, is the backbone of any website. It defines the structure and the content of your pages. Start by creating the basic structure using tags such as HTML, head and body. In the window cleaning company's example, let's write some basic HTML. Now you can see we have multiple sections with headings, descriptions and images. But when we open up the actual website, you can see that the structure and the content are there, but it looks like Let's be honest, complete trash. Style the website with CSS. Cascading style sheets or CSS allows you to add visual appeal and design to your website. Use selectors to target HTML elements and apply styles like colors, fonts and layout. And usually it is the CSS that makes the whole difference. Again, in the example website we have, I wrote CSS to make the website look better. You can see there are selectors that target HTML elements and in the curly braces we modify some styling properties. Now we open the website and look at that, it looks completely different. As I said, CSS plays a big role in how good the website is. Bring interactivity with JavaScript. JavaScript adds functionality to your website. You can use it for things like form validation, dynamic content, getting information from APIs and servers, modifying the HTML and CSS, or creating interactive elements like buttons. Start with small scripts and gradually build upon them as you gain more experience. In our website, we do not really have to use JavaScript, but for the tutorial's sake, let's make the user reviews originally hidden, and when you click on this button, boom, the reviews appear. Step 6. Test, test, test. It is crucial to test your website across different devices, browsers and screen sizes. Ensure that it works smoothly and is responsive. I recommend resizing the browser window in different shapes and also try opening the website on your phone. Our website that we built during this video passes all tests. Step 7. Deploy your website. Choose a hosting provider and publish your website online. Try to find a hosting platform that offers like a free version up to a certain amount of visitors to just show off your creation to your friends. For example, try publishing your code to a GitHub account and use the GitHub pages feature to launch your website. If you want to take it to the next level, you might also look into registering a domain name and finding a better hosting provider. Now I have published our example website to GitHub and as you see, 
there it is. There will be links to the website and the code itself in the description below. And this is all there really is to it. Now you know how you can build any website you want and never worry about going to office again. And now click on this video to see this strategy in action on a more interesting project. I made my own social media website using the same principles and I hope Twitter won't sue me. Click to see why.